Who? Right, the most important question that kickstarts us off into our newest biopic of Disney. So heartwarming story. So we actually do get to see the family and the perils that they go and what really sort of kicks us off. So we get to really open with the family and them migrating across from Nigeria all the way to Greece and seeing the perils that they go under and really like it does build that tension so you can see charles and veronica as they're trying to avoid like the border patrols and like they go through a number of different things till they finally settle in greece and you can see the trials and the scraping the money together to be able to get able to scrape a living together and be able to support the family like they're selling goods out in the street and the dad's sort of like trying to get a loan and also hide down it well be able to get a job and hold the job down long enough that he's able to sort of have that steady income while trying to avoid this as well so they don't get deported. But where it really kicks off is obviously a little bit later once of us in Greece and the family, you know, like integrating themselves into the day-to-day -day life. It really kicks off where the dad, Charles, is, is taking the boys to the local park so you can see them doing some soccer training. But the two older boys, Giannis and Theanis, they go off onto the basketball court and sort of really get that big desirable question. They see the guys shooting hoops and once they get asked, you hoop. And then <laughs> you can see Tiana is actually the more talented one in the basketball, like straight off the bat. You can see the focus is really on him right at the beginning. He can see that this could be like a money making kind of realm for the family to be able to like really set themselves up nicely where Giannis doesn't really get the concept of it like you can see you can see him struggling to begin with and you can see that he goes through a bit of a bit of a trial throughout so the focus is really on Theanis right at the start but as they get on like you can see the brothers are kind of meshing as they go against the father like the family's wishes off they go into the actual basketball realm so they get told there's a, a free community gym there and they have to travel there where I felt like at the time there was quite racial and political unrest where the movie sort of touches on it so they're on the bus and you can see the the riot coming through and them throwing stuff at the bus but like it doesn't really come in again like there's a couple of racial parts where uh, uh, Giannis gets a, a comment made by one of the opposition teams but really it, they don't touch on that whatsoever after that like it's kind of just sort of flash there but never really sort of brought on where the focus is mainly just about the family and the, the boys basketball when they actually are playing basketball like the probably the first half is really building up us really having the focus and Giannis being in the sort of shadow and not really being able to like even really hit jumpers or anything but once they do like this montage where he's like here we go it's, it's not even like Rocky Balboa, kind of like Eye of the Tiger, but he's just running up these mountain steps for like, I don't know what reason, I guess, I know it's for fitness, but it, it has no point into like him training for basketball. Once the unfortunate event happens and his brother does roll his ankle, you get to see him really pick up and start shining and he starts like dunking on people everywhere. And it's just a fun sort of ride. There are setbacks. But the whole focus, it's not much really on basketball where they, it's mainly about the family's journey throughout and like a little bit of the twists and turns where basketball is probably less than quarter of the film actually incorporated in where I would have liked some more montages of basketball or the boys sort of meshing up and training and yeah, like really focus on the journey. I would have liked it when it actually started his NBA career and like seeing how that goes after he got drafted because like the, the story of it is really cool and see how the, the other two brothers got into into the NBA as well. So like obviously the artist joins uh, the Bucks with Giannis, so they're playing together. And then you've got Costa as well, who ends up winning a ring with the Lakers. So it's... I would have liked more focus on that as well. Like if they extended that a little bit longer and I would have liked to see them go through their NBA sort of rookie stuff as well and just see how they meshed in. But overall, it is a really heartwarming film and it does flow really well. Like there's not overly much wrong with it. Like it's a well-made film. There's no like technical errors or anything sort of coming in. It's just that story is less on basketball, more on the family struggles throughout, which is a really engaging story and it is really heartfelt. But yeah for a basketball film and for such successful athletes in that family 
Like I would have liked to see a little bit more focus on the actual basketball and then integrating themselves into the sport. But yeah, other than that, let me know what you thought about it and what your best basketball film is and you know what to do. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe and I'll tell your friends.